I got a lot of faith in this upcoming Call of Duty title. I I'm not going to lie. I actually am feeling pretty good about this one. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And I say this every single year. I say this every single year. Once I finally get a little taste of the gameplay, I just I hop on the hot train. And I guess that's just how it goes with Call of Duty. But I, I actually feel different this time. I feel like they might actually have the pieces connected to the puzzle. And I like what is going on in the 2v2 gameplay, even though it wasn't initially what we wanted to see. I mean, I'm sure a lot of us would have preferred to see something different, but I still enjoyed what I saw out of that gameplay and what I took out of it. But now, the actual multiplayer reveal on August 1st is coming around, and that is going to show a lot more than what we saw in the 2v2 game mode. So I am actually going to come up with a quick little wish list for you guys of what I want to personally see out of this multiplayer reveal, whether it's weapons, maps, streaks, or mechanics, whatever it is, I just want to share what I want to see out of it. But before we even hop into all that good stuff, I want you guys to scroll down just a little bit and check out the comment section. And make sure you do write a comment down below on what you wish to see out of this reveal. Uh, I want to say trailer. I don't know why I want to say trailer. But it's going to be actual gameplay. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. But what you want to see out of this reveal gameplay of Modern Warfare. The very first thing that I want to see out of this gameplay is good gameplay. I just want to see good gameplay. That's it. You know, in the 2v2 game mode, the streamers were playing the game uh, a, a little strange, but the devs know exactly how to put this out. I just want to see a classic, running gunny looking lobby. You know, I don't want to see anything too sweaty. I don't want to see people just sitting there on head glitches waiting, unless you're showing off the mounting feature. But if you're showing off the mount mounting feature, I'm hoping it's just with an LMG or something. But I still, overall, just want to see the majority of the gameplay, just people running around, having a blast, just, you know, you know a quick, twitchy Call of Duty shooter. That's what Call of Duty is. That's what I want to find out of this gameplay. I am really not in the mood for a camp fest or a bunch of players trying to go super, super try hard to get some insane streaks or insane, insane gameplay going on. When I just want to see a quick match of COD. When uh, when the game comes out, then we will deal with all of that stuff. Then pubs will be implemented, and all these players, the, you know, the usuals who sweat their butts off in this game, me included, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> will, you know, eventually get their hands on this game, and we'll just fill up the lobbies and start playing the game and stuff like that. But out of this initial gameplay with the devs, I just want to see some good old-fashioned Call of Duty gameplay. Next up, I would just absolutely love to see the guns and how they work with their attachments. Recently, we were able to see the bench where you were able to customize your weapon with different attachments, scopes, stocks, barrels, grips, all the good stuff you can really mix and match on your weapon. But I want to see how that's actually implemented into the Call of Duty game. You know, in typical Call of Duty games, you can't just have a million attachments on your gun. You're going to have to run some perks to, you know, hold some more attachments on your primary or secondary. So how are they exactly going to go about with all this customization? Unless custom uh, customizations are going to take a Battlefield 5 route, and it's going to be not really any effect by what you put on your weapon. Your weapon is just your weapon, and everything else is just, you know, cosmetics. You know, your grip doesn't really actually help with, you know managing the recoil it's just a cosmetic looking grip you know your stock doesn't help you move faster while you ads it's just a cosmetic looking stock to make your gun look better it might take the battlefield route but i don't think so call i don't think call of duty would even step in that direction so i'm curious to see how all these weapons are going to look how you're going to be able to mess with the attachments make them feel different and don't forget in this game there are gun perks and those leaked perks lists so it's not just regular perks and you know you're attaching this stuff you can have gun perks as well well to help with maybe like sleight of hand or I think it was one for moving quicker a little stalker stalker moving quicker while you're crouched stuff like that so I want to see how all that stuff works the next thing I really want to take out of this whole gameplay is map design map design is a huge one because map design will determine how this game will actually play the pacing of the Call of Duty title and they did mention that they're not just going to stick to traditional three lane maps they're going to actually switch it up a bit so I'm curious to see what they actually have in store. So I'm hoping to see two maps out of the gameplay. Two maps. That's what I want to see. I want to see one traditional three-lane map. And I want to see a new map that they're experimenting with with different styles. That is what I'm excited to actually find 
out and I really do hope that they do show both because I would like to see not only the maps but I would like to see how they're playing on the maps the play style the pacing of the game how the movement feels if it's fluid if it's clunky how the weapons actually work at range because in the 2v2 gameplay we didn't see range we only saw pretty much close quarters and even though it was range in certain situations Call of Duty can get to you know some pretty long distances as we've seen in past titles so I'm curious to see how this is all going to work out how everything will come together pacing gun feel everything in the new maps that they have planned for us a couple of other things I really want to see out of this gameplay is the mini map because we don't even know how the mini map is going to work in this game and also the health the mini map first off is what I'm mostly worried about still even though I said I kind of feel safe with the fact that I think they are going to implement it in regular multiplayer. But still in the 2v2 game mode, they just didn't have it. It was not there, it wasn't implemented. So we don't know how the minimap is going to work in this game. And by the looks of all the leaked stuff that they had out for this game, I, it's really confusing. The minimap could possibly be anything. It looks like they're really trying to twist it around and change up the vibe of what the minimap actually puts into a Call of Duty game, which is actually going to change the pacing of this game drastically, whether it's for the good or for the bad, whether it's going to make it very fast paced or if it's going to make it extremely slow and head glitchy. Who knows? But that will definitely change up how the game plays because the minimap, a lot of people rely on that, not only to go on massive streaks, but to help them know when someone's flanking or where spawns will be or where enemies might possibly be hiding it helps you with a lot of different factors of the game and for the health i know a lot of you guys are probably already going to say yo jb it's 100 hp why would you even want to see what the health is going to be in this game let me tell you why because in call of duty games health varies and it's 100 hp in everything black ops 4 was just the one single game that decided to bump it up to 150 but it's 100 hp in all of the call of duty titles and still at that point the health and time to kill is always different. I mean, Call of Duty Ghost, the time to kill was insanely quick compared to other Call of Duty titles before that. So, you know, time to kill varies. So I'm curious to see how the time to kill will be in this game. Will it be a more slow time to kill or will it be like instant a blink of an eye, you know, like two shots and they're, they're dead on the ground? I'm curious to see how they're going to go about with the time to kill because that might actually kill how people enjoy this game because whether you like it or not time to kill is a massive factor in call of duty and it gives you this feeling of whether you feel like you're accomplished for you know killing a bunch of people or if you feel like it didn't really take much skill and you're just able to you know just spray through a bunch of people and instantly melt them so time to kill is a huge factor and i'm very curious to see how they implement their techniques in call of duty modern warfare and the last thing that I really want to take out of this gameplay, the last thing are the streaks. I really, really, really want to see what the streaks are in this game and how they will play. If they're going to be completely useless, will they be fun to use? Will they be completely overpowered? Can streaks get you more streaks? Because in that leaked perk list, it was a perk that said that if you have this perk attached, your streaks will pretty much gain you more streaks. That would be so interesting to see because as you guys know at the core of Call of Duty kill streaks slash score streaks are probably the most important factor and it helps it stand out from the rest of the crowd because not many other games I don't even know any games that have kill streaks or score streaks does Call of Duty have like a patent on that name or something or the idea of a score streak or kill streak I don't know why nobody else will use it but that's what really makes Call of Duty Call of Duty. And it's fun to have these uh, kill streaks or score streaks that just completely demolish other teams. I, I enjoy it personally. But you need to make it balanced. You need to make it fair still. You can't just dominate the other team's score streaks. You need to make it easy to take them down or maybe they go away quicker or something like that. But I'm curious to see what they have in store for us with these streaks that they have coming up. And the, the most important one that I want to see, the most important one is either the Moab or the Tactical Nuke. I need to see one of these things pop off in this gameplay because if they show this off could you imagine the hype that this game would build up off of just seeing that one factor they could honestly just release a trailer a 10 second trailer on Twitter of just the tactical nuke going off and everything everybody would just explode with excitement 
everybody would explode with excitement. So if they show off the nuke or Moab in the Modern Warfare gameplay, I know it probably they probably want to reserve the hype for uh, for when the game actually comes out or closer to the release date. So nobody says, "Oh yeah, we already know about the tactical nuke." They want the hype to last, but that would really get things rolling for this game. I can guarantee it if everybody knew that the nuke was going to be definitely 110% in this game. But that sums up my list, guys. Thank you so much for listening to it. And like I said in the beginning of the video, don't forget to leave your list down below as well. Because I didn't mention nearly close to as much as what we want to see out of this gameplay. I know a lot of people have different opinions and different thoughts about it. So I'd love to see them all. And we can all discuss it down below. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. If you hated it, make sure you dislike. And if you are from the YouTube search and you just found this video over the YouTube webs, make sure if you did enjoy it, you can always subscribe to the channel. Help me get get your boy to 3k, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and also, if you want to see all my content pop up, you can always hit the uh, bell notification button that helps you get notified on all my recent uploads. Also, if you want to catch me ranting or just talking with everybody, talking about games, anything like that, you can follow me on Twitter, at JBoneMan. And if you just want to catch me streaming any game, Call of Duty Battlefield Rainbow Six, or if you want to catch me streaming the Call of Duty Modern Warfare actual campaign, you can find me on Twitch, at JBoneMan as well. And also, shout out to the Endgame Squad. <laughs> Peace out, guys.